Kembo Kembo na Tatanzambi ya Mazulu Bayet and Kosi Yengi Yengi Keno family um, Coming with another video This one here Is going to be a doozy Once again uh, a, a major uh, Revelation I've been given permission To talk about some things Because as Tatanzambi says now He's ready to uh, expose the imposters. But again, it only goes to those who are going to believe it. And those who know what I'm going to talk about are going to really be um, astounded that it's finally, then they're going to know it's time because, um, you know, a lot of these secrets. Sorry, one second. Let's change this. It really was a Z, not an S. All right. Um, I'm going to play the song. Um, this song is, was created, you can tell, because it's about waking up the diaspora. And you could tell the song was designed for that purpose because it, we're celebrating now. We're realizing uh, those who know what really happened, we're realizing the time is here. I just happened to notice the date. Today is 9 20, 2022, which <laughs> they always do this 11 and 9 calculations. So let's see what happens today. And we'll talk about what's going on around the world and how this is affecting people and if they don't know why. So, one sec, one moment. Again, welcome, family. Glad to have you here. <laughs> Zambitata, Zimbila, praise. Tell them all, stand up. Stand up, the children. Bato di Samu, stand up, the children of Sami. It's time to stand up. We don't need, we're not down no more. No longer the head, tail, but the head. Kong was coming. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Bow, Father. Don't call anyone Bow. That's what he meant. That's meant for him only. Gile, he's not going down. <laughs>
Congo den totela bayete bayete te tanzam pum zambian pum butlendo Yenge, 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 yenge. I'm going to leave. Bayete, Kosi. I want to honor all of you who are coming into your knowledge and awakening in this time. Nothing Zambi and Pungu Tulendo, Akongu, Yahweh, the Creator. Of the Zulu, the Pemba Kalunga, which we call heaven, and the Untoto, which we call the earth, is coming. He is coming to restore the balance from those that he turned the earth over to because his people disobeyed his commands. You know, first I want to give all Kembo and Golo to Tatanzam and Pungo to Lendo Father, Bawa de Kolele for any zonas, Father. Tatanzami and Pungo, I ask that whatever the message comes out, that you will block any interference, that no one will be able to stop what needs to be said. The Tatanzami and Pungo Father, Akongo Yahweh, the most powerful Almighty God of all the highest being, you have now going to speak to tell the people, Father, as we now know the time is coming for you to restore the balance of what you see here today. Help me, Father, to do righteous and not wicked in sights of others and for us to feed the spirit and not the flesh as we continue to be deceived. Ingeta, Nakombio Yave Congo, Bene Yave Congo, Ingeta. I'm going to tell you why I say Yave Congo, Bene Yave Congo. Um, I'm going to give honor to Kuswa Congo, Yusaya, Yusu Kristu, Kuswa Yesui. I'm giving honor to him for a reason. The Mwanda Velala, the Mwanda Nsemi, the spirit of the Moyo, Mpeve, of Tapenzambi and Pungu. And I want to honor all of you who are in this awakening. I know we lost a channel recently. Mine, we'll see if it stays up. And I, I, if I encourage you to record all of the videos, because we don't know how much longer, you know, Kuswa Congo, when he did his ministry, he did it for three years. The awakening has now come in full circle in those three years from 2019 to 2022. This is how we know that things are going to now go to another level because you remember what happened after his three years. <laughs> okay. Um, the Mwanda will soon bring out the, and Most High will soon bring out the real gospel. I'm going to talk about the Nicene Fathers. I'm going to talk about St. Jerome. Uh, uh, they call him St. Jerome, but he was not, there was no sanctity about him. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to talk about the heathens and what they did, you know, because many of us have been mixed with the heathen. And now we are going to set apart ourselves from those that the Most High sent us into. I'm going to tell the reason why Africa fell and what was happening with that. It was actually fulfillment of scriptures. Excuse me. I'm going to talk about who I'm oh let me honor give honor to the righteous elders, the 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 uh the righteous judges, the righteous Maliki Makongo, righteous descendants of Abana and Saka Yakubi, all the way back down to Abana Yakongo and Awa. 
Mama Yar Awa Yakum. I give honor to them. Without them, nobody would be here. So you can't really talk about it. Now people will say, well, we'll look at the world for the cause. But like the Zombie said, you know, his chosen people had a lot to do with that. We also chose not to listen. And so that's why, you know, if anybody is to blame, and I actually was listening to this speech about what Farrakhan was saying, but once again, they don't ever tell the full truth. It is down to people's fault. It is the Benin, it's the Benin zombies, it's the Benin Congo's fault. That's why we get treated so poorly. But because it's our fault, they don't teach us that. Um, this is what really happened. You know, why do the other races, why do the many other cultures have an issue? Is because they know what really happened and we don't. Okay. And that's why, you know, the murdering, the killing of the, and the gossip, when, when the Kuso Congo said the brother will turn against brother, he wasn't talking about the Gentiles. He wasn't talking about the heathen. He was talking about the Muntu, the Benan Muntu, the Benan Zambis, the Banabetu. His conversation with, was among the Muntu. There were Gentiles there because um, the Sanhedrin was made mostly of heathens. That's a, this is the lie. This is They came from when I'm going to talk about the book of Maccabee. That's why they want to claim it for themselves now because they cut us off from our knowledge. But they know what they did. They stole it. Everything was stolen, but they're not going to tell their people that. This is why in Europe they were kicked out so many different times until finally when our kingdom of Congo, they, didn't, they weren't really accepted until the kingdom of Congo fell. Then they were able to be, the Most High allowed them, he, let me say again, he allowed them to steal our identity. And now he's taking it back. And this is because they control the world now. This is why they're trying to stop it because they don't want to lose that position. But they're not telling the truth about what's really going on. They got Christians believing that they are the chosen when there was no, when Christianity comes from the Greeks. And I'm going to talk about here, it comes, it, it existed before the Messiah came in the worship, because they always worshiped their gods from, from, from Babylon. They always did. They just kept changing the names. And there were those who knew they were changing the names. Okay. That's why they assimilated these different gods into different cultures. Um, you know, this is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to go back to, I'm going I'm to reiterate this scripture. I'm going to share my screen to what Paolo said. I'm going to read some Kikongo and I'm going to also read some English. You know, one of the one of the devil's biggest deceptions on the earth is the people who speak English. And I happen to catch a glimpse of the of the funeral, but you know that's why I say people sit there and they just buy into whatever they've been conditioned to do. That's why the Most High said, "You can't convince Gentiles not to do what they do because that's who they are." But the problem is, our people don't want to stop being like them. That's the issue. Okay. So I'm going to get into this scripture. I'm going to read it both in the Kikongo and in the English. I'll start with the English. Second Corinthians 11. And in the Kikongo Bible, this is what we called it. It was We never called these people. That, that was their names. We called them Colinto. <laughs> The Bantu people would call them Colinto. We didn't call them Corinthian. They call them, this is the Greek. They call themselves Corinthian. We say Colinto. Okay. Paolo, Paul and the false apostles. Now this is going to be, and I've heard in the lady speaking in the Cometh and the, and the, you know, they do their King James over there in England. And you know, that's how you know they're adopting it. You know it's modified. Because <laughs> They what they did with King James translation is not completely true. He had more truth in there, and they they dubbed it. I hope you will put with me, put up with me in a little foolishness. Yes, please put up with me. I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. 
I promised you to one husband, and I want to emphasize one husband. To now they say Christ. That was the, the we did, and if you actually go and download the complete Jewish Bible, it says Messiah. It never says Christ. It says Messiah. He said, I promise you one to 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 Messiah. He didn't say Christ. Or if he said Christ, he said Christo. He didn't say Christos because he didn't speak Latin. They're going to say, well, he spoke Hebrew. He was Jewish or whatever. No, that he didn't speak Aramaic. He spoke Lingala. He spoke Kikongo. And I know this. So that I might present you as a pure version to him. But I am afraid that just as Awa, Eve, was deceived by the serpent's cunning. Now, I've actually seen somebody, and this is how I know <laughs> people got to watch what they post, is that they said that the, the whole story of the Garden of Eden comes from Ramses III and his ask for wisdom. And they fail to understand that the Egyptians worshipped the Anunnaki. And the Anunnaki tried to change the way the history was told because Nimrod was trying to steal the identity of Adama, claiming to be the only Adam that they needed to worship. So, of course, this concept of the, of the apple was brought into every form of um, his religions, and they just modified it in different ways so that they would erase the existence of Adama. Ramses the third, his grandfather is Adama. So you can't sit there and sit. So then, if, if my question to you is, if that is the story, then how did we fall as a people? What happened before the flood? What? How did we become a, a fallen people? If that event never took place, and that's why I try to tell people, man, when people put stuff on there, remember who's trying, what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring you back into the Kemet mindset that we're trying to leave. Just like back in, they try to do the same thing. Okay. They're doing it again now. It's a repeat. They want you to come back into Kemet when you're trying to leave Kemet. That's why people who are going back into Kemet, you watch what's going to happen to you. Kemet was a man, a man. Baba. Shh. Kemet was a man, okay, a man, a, a moon to, but he became, he, he got cut off because of his beliefs. He started to believe the stuff that Anunnaki was saying to him or the devil was saying, okay. He was a descendant of Noka, Noah. He was a descendant of Adama. He would, the Egypt is not the beginning of the world at all. There was a Kemet, there was an Egyptian mindset before, but it was not called Kemetic. It wasn't given the name Kemet. See, people are getting blinded thinking that ancient Egypt, and they don't realize ancient Babylon was actually older than ancient Egypt. So this is where Nimrod is deceiving people, y'all. Y'all got to pay attention. Alwa was deceived by the serpent's cunning. Your minds may... Your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christu. Not Christ. See, all they got to do is write a word in there and you believe it. To Messiah. And I'm going to go show you this. For if someone comes to you preaching uh, Jesus, and they didn't say Jesus, he said a Messiah. He said Messiah, other than the Messiah we preached. Or if you received a different spirit from the spirit you received or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough, meaning that you're going to go to it. And this is exactly what happened when the Gentiles came with their interpretations. This is what happened when the Nicene fathers got together and started stripping things out. You just began to accept the scriptures, even though there was arguments among the Banabetu who were living in that time. This is the reason why of the seven assemblies, we fled from them, okay? Because we knew that they were lying. 
this is why when they, they found us in the kingdom of Congo, we were not in this mixed up stuff. We were Baklistu and we knew that. And but they realized that no, we did we we denied the Church of Laodicea's teachings and we ran away from them. Okay. That's why they wanted to kill us because we knew the real truth. That's why they wanted to make us do it and sweat and cause the lion signs and wonders because we knew the truth. Because because that's how it goes. Um, people don't even realize when you look at how Rome conquered the world, it is in the same fashion that Nimrod conquered the world. It's the same mindset. But instead of his name now being called Nimrod, or I can't remember, it was another name. I forgot the brothers talked about the name that he went by in Babylon. Instead of being that, now he's Jesus Christ. They don't understand this. That's why they did the thing. That they, that's why when you look at the torture techniques that ancient Rome, that Roman, ancient Romans used that were still even being used when they became the Holy Roman Empire, those came from Babylonian ancient practices. You know, I talked about how everybody thinks the crucifixion started in Rome. No, it was doing it in ancient Babylon. That's why that cross figure was already there. Burning people at the stake. That was something that Nimrod did, uh, he, or putting people in ovens, or cutting people's tongues out, or uh, burning people in oil. You know, these are things that he did to get. If you didn't follow his rule, this is how he convinced people. And so that spirit is also was vault, got all the way. This spirit traveled through all the civilizations as to why when you see the different torch, cutting off people's hands comes from him cutting off your head comes from him okay and that's what people don't understand because remember he was beheaded so this is why we talk about everything is spiritual and they made you believe that it's not i do not think i am the least in fear of those super apostles, I may indeed be untrained as a speaker, but I do have knowledge. Okay, once again, it's all about the knowledge. It's not about the faith. It's about the knowledge. You cannot have faith in the correct creator without the knowledge of him. That's why he said, my, Hosea 4 and 6. When he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay, remember he's talking to the prophet Hosea. There was no Christianity when Prophet Hosea did said this. So who was he talking to? There were no, at this time when Hosea wrote this, the people who were calling themselves the Jews were the still, they were called the, the, the Phoenicians. They're the Phoenicians. This is why they try to mix us into the Phoenicians because they're saying, no, they said, no, we were Banabetu, we're not the Phoenicians. We were the real Banabetu, we were the real people. They are trying to erase the title by cutting us off from being a nation that the original Hebrews were called, the Ben Congo, the Ben Zombies. Okay? There was no Israelites, nothing. There was no Jewish, nothing. The word I talked about, the word Jew was Satan's mockery of those who were Baklistu, those who, who took and accepted the Messiah because it's a female sheep and he was the male sheep. And that's the bride. And see, here's how ignorant Christianity is. If you're adopted as sons to the Most High, then that would make you a Jew, not a Christian. <laughs> okay? That's the problem. You should be a Jew if you're adopted as sons because they were the Jews. This is the deception on the world. You shouldn't be called a Christian. You should be called, if you're adopted as, uh, uh, if you're adopted into the 12 tribes, then you become the 12 tribes. You don't become a religion. This is the way it works. This is when we converted people, they become part of the 12 tribes. Okay. They didn't become another religion. This is how people have been deceived. <laughs> Cause Kuswa Congo was a Bayuda. So if you, if you become adopted by Tatanzamba, you could, you become Bayuda, not Christ, not Christian. Okay, this is the way, this is what we're talking about. I may indeed be untrained 
what is it a sin for me to lower myself in order to elevate the preaching gospel of, of Tatan Zombie or the God to free of charge? See, like he's saying, you must always be willing to lower yourself in order to get the Most High's word to people. I rob, and here's how he tells you I rob other churches by receiving support from them so as to serve you. And when I was with you, I needed something. I was not a burden to anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied what I needed. So you should never be a burden upon others. I have kept myself from being a burden to you in any way I will continue to do so. As surely as the truth of Kuswa or Klistu is in me, nobody, now, remember that's what Congo is what truth means. What tr Congo, truth is what Congo means or the belt of truth or the, or, the, or the kingdom. Nobody in the regions of Achaia will stop this boasting of mine. Why? Because I do not love you. God knows I do. Now, we need to address once again the only people on this earth that use the name God are those who speak English or German because that's where it came from. This is how ignorant people in America are. <laughs> this is how ignorant people in Britain are. The French do not say the word God. They say Dior. The, the Portuguese say Deus. The Spanish say, and Latin people and Italians say Dio. And you have to understand, there's more Latin-speaking people on this earth than English-speaking people. So then why don't they say God? <laughs> this is the dumbing down. Why don't the Latin people say God instead of Dio? Why don't they, the uh, Portuguese say God instead of Deus? Why don't the French say, people say God instead of Dior? This is all how trigger words work when it comes to languages. And now what people don't understand is the languages of the heathen are anything but the Bantu language. Or they'll say the Jewish language, the Yiddish. No, there was no Yiddish. That that language was invented. Aramaic was created. It didn't exist. When it says in the scriptures there was one language and one speech, that was the Most High's language they were all speaking. What was it called? It wasn't called Aramaic and it wasn't called Yiddish. This is a lie. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Revelation 3 and 9 has everybody in a deception. Okay, it wasn't called English, it wasn't called French, it wasn't called Japanese. Tatan Zambi knows, okay, all of these languages that he caused from the Tower of Babel are the heathen languages. They're the heathen languages. They're not his. That's why he, they got cut off. That's why the language got changed. They're the heathen languages. Okay, so when so what happened was when he turned you over to the heathen, you spoke their tongue. That's why you're speaking in French, Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Latin, or, or Italian, uh, it, um, you know, Thai, Filipino, all these different languages, even though Filipinos kind of pass Bantu in it. As we know, Mabuti is Mbote. Okay. These languages did not exist long time ago, before the tower. When well, they showed you in the movie 10,000 BC, that was the mockery of the killing of Nimrod. Delay, as the lady said, delay was what we called Esau. He was delayed in coming out of his mother. That's where the word comes from. Because Nsimba grabbed the heel, okay, which is Yakubi, Jacob, and Nzuzi, 
he became the judge, but then Esau lost, he lost it. Once we every time we went into captivity, we stopped becoming in Zuzi. Whenever Yusulene or Yaounde went into captivity, we were no longer in Zuzi. So this happened again when the kingdom, we were in Zuzi when the kingdom of Congo existed. Once we went into captivity, now Esau is in Zuzi. But that's what the name Zeus really means, the highest judge, which comes from Zuzi. Okay, the Greeks adopted that name. All right. Let's skip down to verse 11. Uh, actually, where is it? Yeah. Now, and I will keep doing what I'm doing in order to cut the ground from under those who want an opportunity to be considered equal with us and the things they boast about. So like I said, even he's saying the people he represents, they can never be the same as the us. That was the point. He never said that Gentiles and Jews were equal. This is a lie. This is something that came from the Nicene fathers and all the other heathens who wanted to be saved. We take your place. This, uh, we take the Jews place. This is a lie. He's even saying no one can be equal to the, to the, to the most highest chosen people. He says, for such people are false apostles, deceitful workers masquerading as apostles of Christu. Of the of, of, that's why this scripture right here is talking about the Gentiles. He's talking about the heathens. He said, if they're saying that they're equal to us, they are wrong. And this is what they're finding out when they get to the kingdom. And the most High is like, I don't know you. Trust me on that. Because the reality is those who spoke with the heathen tongues cannot be the same as those who spoke with the pure language of the Most High, which was never called Aramaic and was never called Yiddish. This is all part of the heathen deception. Where does it come from? Maccabee. Yawunde Maccabee. Now, this is going to make it very clear who he's talking about. Because remember, for those who don't know, because they know this in the Eastern Orthodox Church, but they don't teach it in the Western Orthodox Church, that in the book of Maccabee, the Greeks came and destroyed the temple, and we became their slaves. What did they look like under this guy? Some of them were black, yes. But when you look at Antiochus, I've done this picture before, this is Antiochus the fourth who comes from the descendant of Alexander the Great. What complexion is this man? This is Antiochus. He's one of the heathens. Who is he? He's the white guy. Okay. Many Russians actually come from his descent. So y'all want to sit there and keep acting like Russia is your buddy. They're the Trojan horse. <laughs> That's what they're doing now. They're the Greeks. Come, they're, they're the Greek. Remember it says, beware of Greeks bearing gifts. Yeah, that free fertilizer. <laughs> Why do you think they're doing this? Understand, you know, there's, there's floods going on now. Alaska got hit. Um, so, uh, Mexico and California got hit. You saw what happened to Japan. Yeah, I saw the major earthquake that hit Taiwan. You see the the hurricane that I told the people in Puerto Rico, <laughs> they probably ain't gonna see this for a while because they ain't got no power. But I told the Caribbean, we told y'all, it's gonna get nasty. And hopefully those who have put up their Congo flags are safe. Because he said, this, this is going out for the heathen now. He said, come out, those who worship the harlot. That's what the Queen of Elizabeth II represents is a harlot. But they're going to pretend like she's, she was so good. And she was, so, I, I even saw her teeth. She got, the, <laughs> and that wicked smile she had on her face. She's like, you don't even know. And when I watched 
the funeral is like somber, oh, like it was dead. And people don't understand that wasn't the way we buried people. We still made a lot of noise. We still sang. We still, because it was a joyous occasion that you're going to be with the creator. It wasn't supposed to be a bad thing. You're going to be with the most high. It's a good thing. See, this is how you know these people are worshiping a dead God because their funeral processions are dead. <laughs> their face is all pale and they, okay. They know that this person is not going where they tell and think you are. And this is why, you know, when he talks about, they talked about, oh, the beautiful church and everything. That's what the most I said, they worship their, the creation of their hands. This is God's church. Yeah, J-U-P-I-T-E-R's church for sure. Because that's the, who they're worshiping. <laughs> okay, it ain't the most high. Because we didn't worship like that. They got us doing that. Okay, so this is Antiochus. And he said, and this is why they want they don't want to show this to Christians because this is what Maccabee says. Because many of the white Jewish people that came even in the time of the Bantu, they came from the Greeks. They were the Hittites, they were the Edomites mixed into their bloodline, and they were mixed into the Romans too. That's why he saw his children always killing each other. They never stopped. And of course, because they worship the Anunnaki, they want the blood sacrifice. Those are the vampires. Okay, they need blood because they're dead. And I laid open the book of the law, where when the heathen had sought, this is why you go sacrificing, by the way, the M O L O C H, the children, why they say they were sacrificing children, because these were dead gods. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. They brought us the priests, garments, and the first fruits and the tithes. And the Nazarites they stirred up who had accomplished their days. So they basically telling you <laughs> they brought their interpretation of our feasts. That's why Rome went and changed it. That's why these other the Khazars went and changed it. Why were the Nazarites stirred up? Because they're like, this is garbage. We were the Nazarites. Wait, wait a minute. You, no, no, no. This, this is garbage. Okay? They, they, it was all sacrilege because they slaughtered a pig into the temple. Okay? That's why, and I'll, let me get my other share going. They came with this whole concept Hold on. Share this of this. Okay, this is their God, I E S U S Christos. The pig affiliated with the God Tamils, which was actually an insult to the real Messiah. And they know it. But anybody, people just want to believe what they're told. Oh, yeah. All they did was take this I and turn it into a J to make it harder to discern this word for those who would know what it means. Okay. Because they started to not read. The, because what happened was that it went from where you were read the scriptures because Rome didn't permit anybody to read the Bible. They had to be read the scriptures. So now people started to read it for themselves. Okay. So they wanted to make sure that you would, if you started to study Latin, you would catch on. Wait a minute. This don't mean what it says. It doesn't mean Savior. You were told this. Jesus, when it says Jesus saves, his name does not mean Savior in Latin. No. And they're going to say, well, it comes from the Greek, Isus. Well, that doesn't mean savior in the Greek either. Go look it up. What the, go look up and what, what it says, how you, how, what in the Greek, what is, how you say savior, how you say savior in Latin is none of these words. Oh yeah, but this is, no. In the Kikongo, Bantu, Yisu means that. 
Y E S U. Isu, save. And it's a conjugate, it's a verb. That's why we conjugate it. Yeso, Yisa, uh, Yoso. Because it's a verb. It's just, we conjugated it just like you do with the Latin and you do with Spanish. You know, you have the different, you have one verb, it comes from the word Yisa. It comes from the word, word verb Yisa. And then you conjugate it from there. Yisu, Yeso, you. Okay, it's a conjugation. Guess why it's, it's the way that saved was yes way. The way that saves, yes ways way, his way. Because he was teaching Yahweh's way. That's why he said Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh is that's why they put the W in there because it's a way sound, Yahweh. Okay, it was the most highest way, way. So he said that's the father, Yahweh, Congo. The Yahweh's way of truth, Congo, is my way. Yes, way. Okay? I do the Father's way. That's why he said I do in the Father's name, which is why we say, I say Yahweh, Yahweh ben Yahweh. But the, the stronger version is Yahweh Congo, ben a Yahweh Congo, because it's the Most High's way of truth, son of the Most High's way of truth. Because it was Abba Combo and Yoso. The fathers combined with the son. Okay. That's why he said, I am the way to the father. And what Shaitani did was put himself as the replacement when the church of Laodicea went to be lukewarm. That's why Paul said, hey, he had to warn. If anybody comes teaching you another Jesus, which is what they did, they came teaching you Helios Christos or Tammuz. And they're like, ah, oh, no, 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 this can't be right. This is what the, some of the stories that you got in the Bible are Tammuz, and some of the stories in the Bible are Kusokongo. They mixed them. And this is what the, this is why they took out all the other disciples who wrote things, because they conflicted with the knowledge and they modified Matea, which means to teach, into Matthew. And you start calling on the wrong people. They needed the Bantu people to stop calling on the right names, because then you're talking to the people that can actually help you. To the people who are dead gods and dead people who in the ground, the heathen don't go nowhere. That's why there's no power within these people when they claim to think that they can. That's why they can't heal the sick, make the blind see, make the lame walk, make the deaf hear, because they're calling on dead ancestors and you're doing it with them. But they don't know that. Okay? So in harsh reality, the people who had the power by calling on other names, you have connected to those who are dead. And that's why they became, that's why their singing was a dead, their, their, their rejoicing was kind of bland. And they always say, we want to be like you. We want to, why? Because we were the people that knew how to rejoice. We were the people that knew how to praise the most high. We were the people that knew, always sang. Because that the tumba and Benzambu Psalms were ours. Okay. And the mockery of that was when you saw Whoopi Goldberg and, and, and Sister Act. Oh, listen to that choir now. Mm, 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 moving. That's mocking the real people who knew how to praise the most high. Moving, dancing, jumping, shaking. Hey, top of zombie. Not sitting there. Ooh, hands crossed. Ooh, see, ooh, ooh. No. Because Shaitani did that on purpose. Because this was a dead concept. That's why even when you see Latin people go moving, dancing, shaking, they that that's mixed in from the black from the bantu culture 
the Spanish was they, they didn't move like that until they started seeing how we move. That's why everybody got upset when Elvis started going and he he had a, that was a spell. Oh, he's shaking the hips. He's moving like them black people. That's how he got, and that's how you could tell the white woman was like, oh my God, man, we want to move like that. That's why in King Kong, they put the white woman as the kryptonite. Oh, boy. And I'm not being, it's not about being racist. It's the concept was, in those days, that woman was untouchable. You couldn't touch the white man. No. You don't ever, nigga, boy, I'll, I'll kill you. Okay, Emmett Till, all that stuff. That was the trophy. But the Most High said, this woman is unclean. Their, their bloodline is unclean. They're the heathens. They don't even come from the same connection. That's why they're much easier. Just to, I give you the proof. When they go to sin, like when they party or whatever, they have no problem with what they do. When they had a problem, when they think about it, those things were taught by us about what they should and shouldn't be doing because they did whatever. The history is full of lies. They did whatever. We're the ones that were like, hey, because we raised their kids. And now their ancestors are like, hey, y'all shouldn't be doing that. They got that from Bantu people. Because they we took care, we were the housemaids. We were doing all the, the, the taking care of the kids and all that. So they learned discipline from the Bantu people. This is what the history doesn't tell you. This is where they learn their morals. Okay. That's the problem. We have the morals, and now you think they have it and can help you when we're the ones that help them. We had a structure, a system in place, all kind of things. They took notes, wrote it down. Oh, man, this is how this worked. This is... And then they burned everything and took it and said, now nah, we're going to do it. And incorporate what we were doing. And teach it back to you their way. Okay. This is what happens every single time in the scriptures. But see what they didn't tell you in other scrolls that they were aware of. It was coming again. They already knew it was going to happen again. And they were preparing for it already and they understood the times that's why they were watching the stars and they were uh they got it from nimrod and, and the fallen angels okay these times and here, here we go okay the time is now coming when the children are going to go into captivity again they already knew because they were talking to the fallen angels who had the foresight they already knew they've been known these things but then they come tell you Oh, nobody knows that they, nobody knows. No, Ngunza Nabi means seer, meaning I have foresight. They taught you you can't see, and they can see. <laughs> so now they knew those who don't know because they've dumbed them down because they're the peasants. The peasants don't know. They've always had the peasants, those who are beneath those who are down here that don't know nothing, we control them. They've always had this, always. The leadership families, these families, if you want to need, really know the history, these families that have controlled the earth have been here since the beginning of Babylon. <laughs> that long, because they're not who you think they are. They just jump from one body. They, they modified the bodies. The double helix. Okay, so now, you remember Mosi put the one snake representing the Bantu people, the Benakongo, the melanated people. 
The double helix is the modified, the two-headed snake. Because here's what happened. Shaitani had children. They called her Anunnaki. One of them was an alchemist. N-E-R-G-E-L. He's actually, you go and look his name up, he's one of Satan's beings. Looked like a moon too, or he could look like a, a moon daily, depending on his witchcraft or sorcery. Shapeshifter. Reptilian seed. Okay? Him and them, they mix with Kaina. They got the double helix thing going. This double, his staff is the double helix. They modified the melanated people. Because the melanated people started from the beginning. Because Shaitani's image was opposite Tatanzavi. Because he didn't want to bow down before the image of, of, of uh, Adama. He said, no, he's not. And Shaitani was a melanated angel. And so were the rest of them who said, oh, we don't want to be with Tatanzami no more. We're going to make our kingdom opposite. So the Mosai said, then you, everything will be opposite, including your image. This is the reason why when you looked at white people, they look pale, they look dead, they look, you know, no color, absent thereof, dead, like they've been in the grave. The, the, the whitest of white people, okay? Because the Most High said, you don't want to be my image, then you will never be, because he was made in the same image as Kusu Kongo and Makayan Zambi, which they call Michael the Archangel, melanated. So the world, just like in the days of Kaina, the white people went above the melanated. Just like that. And they did it again after the flood. Now you think the white people, no. Noka and his children were Muntu. But Noka was a, he was, um, sorry. He, okay, let me unshare. Let me go back, stop my share. And go back to what I was saying. He, He was uh, an albino so he could hide himself among the heathens of Cain. Okay. By the way, Tatanzami has done this again. <laughs> Don't even. So now, the whole world was once again meant to be the image of Cain as children and Shaitani's deception, the double helix, of which he gave the cube that then became the stones to take the life and change it. That's why he all the monstrosities that they created had to be destroyed, in which Matuzo played a role. He turned things into stone. That's why they think things are fossilized. He turned things into stone. including the giants, okay? He brought down the fire and they got turned into stone, okay? So now they, what they are doing is calling you to honor the destruction, but they're hiding the rock structures from you because then it's a dead giveaway, and then they taught the heathens a science that didn't exist. Because then it proves Shaitani is real, the Most High is real, this is real, because they didn't want, they wanted us. They didn't care that the white people, the French and the, and the Dutch and the British and the Germans and all these other people believed in this scientific garbage 
that the Satan worshiper, um, uh, what do you name Darwin made? They wanted the moon to to believe it too. To forget about the Tanzambi, to forget about the Mosai. And even when you didn't, even when you say you now, even when they incorporated it, you call on their gods. That's why they, they called the scientific community uses all the, the different the names on the periodic table. There's demon names on there. Uh, the names of the things they call in the 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 the, the, uh, the um the planets. Those are demon names. We got demon names in the English language and in the in the, in the heathen language because they wanted the moon to to continue to sin. Why? Because when we sin, we drain our energy. Because the zombie filled us, his people, with power. But when we got turned over to the heathens, there's a power transfer. This is when they call, this is where they get the kinetic and potential energy from who, who is really the battery and who's the charge. Okay. Because the frequency, as we talked about, is the key. This is where I'm going to tell you where the 6-9 comes from. And now you have the queen who died with a 9-6. Okay? That was a code. 6-9 is where Satan's kingdom went above the kingdom of Kongo, who was the nine kingdom. Flipped. The 9-6, now it's going to turn back around. Now the people who were melanated, the Banabetu, the, well, the melanated, but the Banabetu melanated, because we're not all the same, because the Hamites are black too, but they're not from the Most High. As far as they, they think, you know, everybody's, no, they did heathen ways too. They followed the Anunnaki deception too. Lies, they just changed themselves. And they have to, the people believing in what they believe. But the Banabetu have a peculiar way. They were not like the other nations, the other Africans. No. Never. But we encouraged the ways of the heathen. All Nimrod did was teach variations of our way to the heathens under different God names. That's why you see similarities to our teaching, our way in everybody's culture. But we don't recognize it anymore because we lost it. Okay? And they know that where the places we went, they destroyed the evidence. So that they could say, we did this. No, we didn't do nothing. We built the Great Wall of China. We built it. We built the Mayan temples. Woo! Let me not even go there yet. Okay. We built civilizations for them. Because we wanted to stay away from Tatan. We wanted to, we kept running from Tatan Zombie. For, want to be, oh, that's why we have wicked elders who said we were better off with the heathen. That's a slap in the face, like I said. As powerful as King Solomon was, all of that power he had obtained went into his false temple and drained his energy and started us to do the same. That's why when we are away from our land, we go limp, we discharge, we don't have the connections. That is what he really meant when he said there would be, when he said that they changed it to wars and rumors of wars. I have the original translation that said there would be those, there would be wars of all kinds because they will not remember where they came from. They changed that from the other Matthew. 
so that the heathen would think, oh yeah, room, wars and rumors of wars, that's us. No. I got nothing to do with the heathen wars. It's the Bantu people who have to deal with the heathen. We're in the war with them. That was the concept. Don't let them know who they are. Don't ever do that. That was always the secret code. So now that the zombie's saying, many of us are now to the point where in this awakening, when we say, well, this Jesus guy didn't exist. Well, that's a lie. He did exist, just not the way they're telling you. So if anybody is telling you he didn't exist, this is Shaitani again, taking you away from your power. But then if you still go ahead with the version that the, that the colonizers gave you, you're still taken away from your power. Because Kuswa Congo, through him, you receive the power from Tatanzambi. This is why it works. He does stand as your intercessor between yours, you, and the Most High. He does. This is why so many people now have been deceiving people saying, we are, he is him. When they try to, let me tell you something. When Toko came, Simo Toko, he met Kuswakon. He met Tatanzan. People say, oh no, you can't see the Most High. The Most High said, why wouldn't you see me if you, I am in you? Talked about that. Okay. Does that always mean you stay proper? No. We saw what has happened to those who followed Polar. And he came and saw them. What are you guys doing? You're doing worse than the heathen. What? You can't do like this. But now we're among them. We're going to do like them. And they think they're doing it right when they're not even close. Not a clue. They sin all day long. And don't even know they sin. Because they want the moon to the follow. Because then you reject the Hamasiya. Kuswa Kongo. And go to their gods. And you and you worship Nimrod all day long. And don't know. This is the revenge that he got after we fell. The Morsai took down his tower. He took down our kingdom. Bam! And we didn't listen to Paul who said, don't go after another messiah. Kuswa Kongo said, don't do our false messiahs. The false messiahs come from the heathens. The false disciples come from the heathens. And our own people are doing the same thing. They're creating themselves as false apostles, false messiahs. Even in this awakening now, there are people calling themselves Kuswa Congo. Captain Zombie. No. This is how you get deceived. This is how we got kicked out. This is how the heathen don't even know. They're not talking to the God of creation. They're talking to Shaitani. Why do you know the difference? Where is your power? Ungolo, where is it? Demonstrate what you can do. A dead God cannot give you power. All of Shaitani's power come from the Banabetu. Transferred over. That's why he's so big and oh, oh, oh. You take that away, he's nothing. He's a pipsqueak. He knows this. Once the Bena Congo, Bena Zambi, Bena Isolele realize you, what? Tatan Zambi is taking back his power. He gave to him 
when he said, I turned the world over to the hands of the wicked, your babe. Now he says, it's not yours anymore, wicked people. I'm taking it back. This is the reset. I'm putting it back where it belongs. I'm giving it back to my people. And those of you who don't pay attention and know that you are in the days of Noah again, doing the same stuff as before, you perish. Hosea 4 and 6. His people will perish right along with the heathen who don't have the right knowledge. They don't have it. All the knowledge they're learning comes from the pagan ways. That's why Tatanzami says you can't teach these people anything different than what they know. Only those who know what happened and recognize the history of the truth will say, oh, wow. Okay, we've been lied to. We need to go back. But when you go back, Kusra Kongo says, don't let them tell you Messiah here, Messiah there. No. Don't let it happen to you. And this is now starting to happen. People talking about the healing of the Bantu. The healing of the Bantu is Kusra Kongo. So they, they want you to deny the Messiah again. They want you to deny him again. After you got kicked out for that before. Don't do that. I love my brother. My brother Benica, he, he, he speaks with such passion. And I, and I know I try my best to do the same. And we understand this. Don't let yourself get kicked out again. We got kicked out for accepting. Let me show you. I'm going I'm to prove how they put it in our face. Let me show you Kuswakon. And look what it says around the edges. Vatican City, Rome. What do you see? A Muntu, a Bantu, a Chiluba. Name, this is Yusuf Kristu, Kuswa Congo. We rejected him. Remember I told you what Antiochus looked like. For this. This is who they brought the band to people and said, this is your Messiah. And then people said, no, that's not him. The ones who said, okay, they got thrown into slave ships. They got taken into captivity. And everybody else who rejected, they ran. And they tried to kill them. They're still trying to kill them. That's what happened. You will, Rome said you will accept this, we will reject this, accept this image, or we will kill you. And they did. And they did. Anybody, even the Native Americans who said, that's not him, they knew. Some of them knew, wait a minute, that that, that wasn't he this kind of guy? And they killed him. And said, You heathens, this is your God. All this is, is Esau mixed with Nimrod and Tammuz. The sun god, Ra, turned white when Ra was black in ancient Egypt. He was a black god. <laughs> An ANU. For the Babylonians, he was a black god. Because why? And I laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen, they did a repeat of what they did to King Solomon, Antino Solomon's temple when Antiochus Epiphanes came. The repeat was when Rome came to the kingdom of Congo.
And once again, the, the wicked elders said we were better off with the heathen than before. Repeat. No. This is why now you can't get them to separate from them. Why do you think Africa's going down? But now the Mosai said it's over. It's coming back up. Because he knows where his land of promised land was and is. Not the heathen. They can't teach you in the books. You must ask Tatanzami, you read these books. Yes, you read them, but what is truth and what is a lie? Because they lied about a lot of things. They took the history. They took the history and changed it and whitewashed everything. Just like Maccabee is saying, your wounded Maccabee. You cannot always believe the knowledge of those who stole, who stole it. And they told their people, these people have no written language. These people have, it's why? Because then we lifting ourselves up and we pushing them down. When the Most High said, if you follow my law, you remain the head and not the tail. We didn't. We did the way of the heathen, we became the tail and not the head. And they flipped, okay? So it's not about racism. It's not about any of that. It's about telling people a lie. You are not the people. No way. Shaitani has deceived you. The only people that can stand with the Most High are his people. That's why he said, salvation comes through my people. That's what Kuswa Kongo said. Yusuf Klistu. To prove my point, you go back to one uh, Zole qua bicicolinto. This is what Paula called it. Paulu wakamba vema kwandiye in dungulu zandi zikamwe na mbundu di akala mu kolinto wasonga mpe de swana de swana diena ya yandi ye entumwa zaluvunu engwa vu luzolele <laughs> the ones he loves that's us bididila the bones and the fiami. Keti lukon vin bidila mpe. Kadi mono engianina yeno kimpala mu kimpala kian zambi. Kadi mono. Now see, here's the thing. This is a Kikongo Bible that's supposed to be a colonized system. Then why don't we use the colonized word for God? Why don't we use the colonized word for Jesus in this book? Why does it change? Kadi mono, when Zambi means God, Kadi mono, Yalusa, Luakam Babana, Ye Bakala Dimosi, Kaka, Kidi, Kaka means above one, Kidi Yatuli, Tula, Ndumba, Yavidlaka, Kwaklistu. If it was a colonized version, we would put Christo there. Kanzi in Guiana, like everybody else does. Wonga, Vobonso, Nyoka, Yavunginika, Eva, Eva, Eve, Eva, 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 Mu Kinkita, this is Eve, that's my mom, Eva, Mu Kinkita, Kiandi ibuna mabanza meno si umbivunswa katuka mu kitunga muklistu. This is where he says, if anybody comes preaching, 
Kadi undiena wizidi vo samuni yisu wankaka. This is so, uh, 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 wankaka means uh, elevated. Utwalembwa samuna evo. And what's funny was my cousin was nickname was Evo, and I had to tell him what it meant. He used to think it was bad. It's actually a good name. Lutambudu. <laughs> Lutambu di umpeve, spirit, umpeve. Yampil ankaka, yilula, lulula embwa, tambula, vo unsamu, wambote, wampil ankaka, ulualembwa, tambula, bunavele, luto, lu stand up tambula, lutomene, vidi, bilabo, with that spirit. Okay? And that's what we did. This is why we do every Sunday. We still do what the colonizer gave us, and we won't stop to the to the to the to the earth drop. And you're gonna see what's about to happen. Your pastors, your imams, the so-called rabbis, your world leaders all go by what the Mundeli and Kadian Pemba have determined as the scriptures. Even though in Islam they have more of the truth than we do in Christianity, but they still acknowledge what Rome still tells them to do. They're still one and the same. They just change hats. They're all really... <laughs> Yeah, this is why, like my, y said, they, they're doing a lot of things they shouldn't be doing. But they still act like holy people, not even close. Okay. Matea. Matthew 24. So what they did, they put this name in there. It's an English Bible, which the most high was in his language. They put these names in here, and I showed you what they think. All you got to do is go back to 1611, and this J is an I. And I showed you where Jesus Christos really means. So this, of course, now I'm going to read the Kikongo version. And, you, and Jesus... We say, of course, this is supposed to be Kuspa Congo, really. Went out and departed from the Nzon Zambi. They call it the temple. Itempele comes from them. Because remember, we combine hedonistic ways. And his disciples came to him for to shew him the building of the Nzon Zambi, Tempele, the temple. And Jesus, Jesus, they say, said unto them, See not all these things, brethren, I said unto you, there shall not be one, not be left, near one stone upon another that shall be not thrown down. So, just to show you how deceived the Christians are, the Christians go back to Israel, and they see this wall that the Jews are praying at. And they tell them, oh, this is the wall, that this is the part of the temple, the, the West Wall. What did he just tell you? No, but none of the temple will be left standing. So already, Christianity is deceived by this wall. Because the Messiah himself said, none of the walls will be left standing. And they got us praying at it too, by the way, bound to people. <laughs> and people putting their prayers in there and they're following what they do. Just going along with it when that was a heathen custom by the way, all the way back, putting notes in the wall. That was a heathen custom. Okay. And he sat upon, and then he says, take heed, and Yusu answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Well, failed. When Diego Cal came to the kingdom of Congo, he deceived everybody. <laughs> and this is why Africa began to fall, by the way, with the European lies. 
And it said, take heed, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am, and the Jewish version says, the Messiah. And that's what he said, I am the Messiah. Christ was never what we called him. Because that is the heathen word for anointed. That is the Latin and the Greek, not the Bantu, not the Jewish. No. If you go look, if you go ask, look up the Yiddish for anointed, it is not Christ. Since you want to say you're going to follow the Yiddish, right? If you look at the Aramaic for anointed, it is not Christ. This is a Latin and Greek word. And of course, they got it from the Bantu who say Christ. <laughs> that's where it really came from. Because that's what the Greeks got the word was Christo. For when they called Nimrod, Helios Christos. Because they learned how to speak from us too, by the way. <laughs> you have no idea. Kuswa. Kuswa is what we said for anointed was the more common word. Kuswa. And we said Yuswa because it was the Y and the K. Remember we go... Uh, it's an anagram. We, it's, it's, it's interchangeable. And then they came and said, Yeshua. No, it's Yuswa. Kuswa. Thank you. Y'all are mellow for that. And others who know. Actually, there's other people in the world. They know this. In, in the Bounty people. All right. For nations, and of course, in the Kikongo interpretation, this is not even right. But so this is this was put in there so that the heathens would believe, oh, we know when the rapture comes was when this happens. This is this was this was all conditioned for the rapture people or for the second coming. When they don't understand there's going to be a second exodus. This is how they did this. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Here's the problem. The name Christian is not hated by all nations. So there's a problem with that. The name Christian is not hated by all nations. You want to know what na name is hated by all nations? Congo. That's why they changed it. That's why people get treated like garbage there. Those are the, the names. That's why they took it out. They don't even say it in there. They say Kong. That's why they changed it from Congo to Kong. That's the name that's hated among all nations. They don't even know it. Why? Because the heathen did exactly what Maka, your only Maccabee, they changed it to their way. They put the images, they changed the text, they took the scrolls, they modified it so that they could replace the 12 tribes. Revelation 12 and 9, Satan deceived the whole world. Yes, he did. Because their God has always been Satan. That's why they kill in the name of Jesus. That's why they kill people in the name of Allah. That's why the, 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 the so-called people changed the name to Israel. That's why the so-called people, they go killing people. And they hate their enemies. And they'll tell you this. There's a rabbi, my wife was listening to him. She's like, oh my gosh, look at all the stuff that he's saying. Yeah, and he's, and he's not in jail for that. <laughs> he didn't get arrested either. None of them get arrested for the wickedness that they do. You just see what they do. 
Do you see them getting arrested when when they go and do their uh, they're gonna do their atonement with the birds again, which don't do a doggone thing that they stole from us, by the way. They copied from Bantu people. They're atoning for their sins coming up in October. The Mosai don't hear none of that. No, what is this? I, I don't tell you. No, they done. They, they done started preparing the the temple the, the temple slaughters. <sighs> Boy, people don't even know what's really coming for this because they're ready to start. They're ready to bring back their Messiah. They said their Messiah is here. So now the world must answer to him. But wait till they see they're all one in the same deception. Like Revelation tells you. You see a lot of the earthquake going on, I tell you. Been going on for quite a while now. There's a lot of famine now starting. Yusu. Okay, almost done. Yusu Wabikula Umbungulu uh, Salama. Yes, they say Jerusalem, but they modified it for Jerusalem. It's ever Salama, Ya Salem. Ye in Gizulu Andi Yanzole, Wakamba Dumbu Bina Tikila. Lumba Bina Walubula Mukaya Mesa Yusu Waviaka Mukolingo Wayenda Yendingi and Longo Guku Miandi Miiza Kwayandi Mu Kunsonga Untungulu Zakilongo Wavutula Wavuva Kwayao Ka Lueni Yima Yina Yayonsono Ko Koi Kedika Mono Eluvovele Vavaka Vayambu Lua Tadi Untandu Atadi Dialembwa Tuluwako Kansi Ba Kwa Kavanda Kavanda Vamongo a olive. See, did you even see the word temple in there? <laughs> It was really the Zoran Zombie. But they took they want to hide that too. Okay. Let me see where he said that no man deceive you. Verse four. Yusu Bavutla Wavovakwa Yao Lutala. Ka Luidi Zim Bukuswa Kwa Muntu Muntu Okay He said Muntu deceive you Well guess what So now this is why when the diaspora Has been coming back There are Muntus Deceiving people because that's what he really meant. So that's why he said, I knew, and I knew this, they're going to say they, they're going to take that whole black Messiah thing. And you don't even remember, I told you, Nimrod was also black. And you still think that you're talking to Kuswa Congo and you're talking to Nimrod and you don't even know you got took back into his system unawares. And the way you do that is you start talking, you start replacing Kuswa Kong with somebody else. Or you tell somebody else it's Tatan Zombie and they're not. And so you're right back with Nimrod again. Or you start listening to what they tell you about how we're supposed to do things and how we weren't supposed to do things. They're still deceived by the spirit of Nimrod who was mixed into our people who became wicked, who said no. The law, the law, the law, the law, and then circumcise their heart. That was Shaitani doing that. People don't know. The false spirits. Remember, the most I said, I sense false. That was Baal again. I'm a L O C H. 
We, we never left. That, that joker kept doing stuff all the time. Kuswa Congo fought against the people who were worshiping M-O-L-O-C-H when he was there. And now M-O-L-O-C-H is the god of this world. He's in the form of the obelisk. You don't know what that is? The George Washington Monument. And they put it in a movie in the 1920s, what, 1900s, 1910, 1920s, when they were showing you people see the movie. The people going chomping at the, in the demon god, of course, he's in the form of a frog looking thing, chomping the people and spitting and, and coming out in the, in, in the coffin. <laughs> they're telling you they're killing you with this system. You're, you're dying in the system they created because you become now nothing but a number. That's why they give you your social security number. You're nothing but a number now. You're a tin man. You're a straw. You're a straw man. You're a tin man. You don't know nothing. They turn you into an empty-headed robot. And it, and it was mocking the moon too, because this is what they did to us. And your cowardly lion is running away. And Dorothy means the, the gift of the Most High. In the Greek, and the Toto, the dog, is Earth. So that's all about them and the Wizard of Oz, Shaitani, and the Wicked Witch put you under the spell. Don't even let me tell you who the Munchkins are. <laughs> the one who went down below. The, the little people. The, that good witch, they call him the Monavella. Oh, yeah, yeah. But of course, they put the white and the black backwards. See, the, the bad witch wore the black, the white witch wore the white. <laughs> and that's the opposite. But they were, they were mocking the fact that we wore the white. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you, if you truly want to be with the Most High, do, never, do not deny Kusukong. Understand, he stands before the Most High for you. And because he said, mostly in your elders, they do not judge you. Yes, they do. This is how you receive curses and blessings. And the accuser stands before the Most High. Yes, he does. Okay? So all that stuff they keep trying to tell you that he don't do that. that, that, that. Yeah, he does. And his role is to try to keep you away from being in the Pemba Kalunga, from being in Zulu, from being in the heaven with the Most High. He, he wants you to be with the ancestors of the heathen. That's why he gave them these fake visions of heaven all the time in the movies and all the other stuff that he talks about and the images. And he plays with them until when they already, when they passed on, it's like, wait a minute. Then, the, then everything changed. They don't tell you about the other scenery change. Then reality hits. Whoa, this is not where I thought I was supposed to be. They don't tell you that part. Because the most, I'm, I'm honestly, there's very few, if any, heathens at all who have gotten into the kingdom through a moon too. Not very many. They have lied. The Muntus have always been the ones who get you to the most high. If you are Baklistu, Nzo and Zombie, Abantu Benduela, that they mocked it, it's the NIG, I told you, it's the NIG, nigga, I believe, which means king, they added the extra D to make you a dog. And then they tell you it's a bad word, and you keep saying, nigga, don't call me that. They're calling you king. But they're mocking. Ha, 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 ha. N-I-G-G-E-R, dog. N-I-G-E-R, king. And they pronounced it Niger. And they put it in West Africa when it goes to the whole continent of the Congo, not the people. The Bena Congo were called N-I-G-E. The, the, the Moni Congo was an N-I-G-E without the R. Because, of course, we always not take it off. The Bena Congo, the Moni Congo, 
So they got you chasing, I'm in the morning, I'm in the morning, chasing the money. When it's follow the yellow brick road, which was the gold, the, the follow the yellow brick road goes all the way back to the gold mines in the middle of Africa, in the southern region, King Solomon's mine. Follow the yellow brick road, they detoured it to Britain, and it's supposed to go back to the mines of Solomon. Because the Most High made him and his wealth unprecedented. And they never end. This is a lie. All the wealth of the Most High never ends. And everywhere we set the foot, the wealth would be recreated. And then they say, oh, yeah, they never can tell you where gold comes from, but they can find it in abundance. It comes from the Most High. But Shaitani will give it to you, too, because he stole it. Now it has to come back to Tatanzan. Okay. That's all for today. Sambulola Zola Quingi in a wizard Yave Kongo Kutwala. Understand. If anybody come teach you in another gospel, that's why we say we don't necessarily throw away the Bible because there's some truth in it. This just got taught backwards and modified. It's our scrolls, and they took it. You know, these guys. Uh, the Nicene. The church fathers are the array of pastors, bishops, and theologians. That's where the theologian comes from. Writing after, the, writing after the apostles, but before 325. So they took the teachings of the Benakongo Abafundi, which means disciples, because the word disciple actually comes from the people who do witchcraft. <laughs> You're my disciple. That's where that comes from. It's a heathen word. For those who did witchcraft and sorcery, you're my disciple. He never called his followers disciples. This is I. That's a heathen word. That's a um, Mudinelli Kadian Pemba word. It's a, a colonizer word. Okay. He didn't call him that. It comes from the time of Tammuz. He called his people disciples. Okay. Abafundi, that's like the word acolyte comes from the Egyptian sorcerers. We didn't call those people acolytes. Okay. They have a creed, the Nicene Creed, which they call, call uh, the Apostle, they call it the Apostle Creed now. <laughs> when they never made such creeds, lie. Bantu people didn't do this. So they took all of this stuff and made it up. And now they made you believe for thousands of years, for hundreds and years, hundreds and hundreds of years, this is how it went down 2,000 years ago. Baloney. Baloney. That's what Paul has said. You will go with the gospel and believe it. These pastors will come and teach you this and you will believe it. And it's a lie. Second Peter, once again, second Kepa. Let me go back to it. It means exactly what he said. But there are also false prophets among the people, among the Bantu. Banabetu is what he meant. Just as there will be false teachers among you, which is what? The Mundele, Kadian Pemba. Okay who will come, they will secretly introduce destructive heresies. That's what the Flavian Roman Empire did. The Flavian, the Flavian Romans, the uh, uh, emperors, they started to introduce destructive heresies. That's what the other forms of Christianity started to do. Even denying the sovereign Lord. Yes, because they denied Congo and started calling him Dio which was really Sol Invictus, the same person, one and the same. Bringing swift destruction on themselves, that's why Rome has always been at war with people fighting them. That's why they always had the issues they had in, 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 in wars, the Crusades and all this other stuff that they claim. 
may, may, many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring away the truth into disrepute. Yeah. So they feel that they have the truth now. Oh, Jesus is the gospel of Jesus is the word of truth. When they made it up with the Nicene fathers, when they, when they began to form Christianity, out of Christianos, which came from the Greeks. This is why their church became lukewarm. And they never stopped. And then it got adopted into the people who protested. All they did was give them a little bit more understanding of the scriptures, but you're still only getting milk. So when you got the milk, oh, this is the word of God, this is the word of Jesus Christ, blah, 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 blah. Like, because that's what the heathen do. They go along with whatever they're told. They're the robots. Always have been. But the moon tuber kept saying, hey, this don't sound right. But that whip came across your behind. Too many times. And next thing you know, okay, we go along with it. Fear started to creep in. For Titan Zombie did not spare the Maleki, that sin, they sent he but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment. So they're dead gods. But at the same time, they also can be on top in their version of their world. And they gave you the strong delusion of your mind, the matrix. Okay. That's why now everybody's acting like Saddam and Gomorrah for years, for generations. They just it, it was it was in secret when they started to create from the old west to the modern modern age. It just went underground. Now it's back on the surface. You, they're just telling you who you always were, even in the old west days. You just you forgot. Even in days, you know, hundreds, hundreds of years ago, you just forgot. Now it's back on the surface, and they're moving, and you're going along with it, and they got us going along with it. Okay, and Zola Quingi, Sambalola, you know, where's the Yavi called Twala, and you know, family. This is going to be the time where you're going to now see it's going to go back to where the way it was. But this is going to be a turbulent event because the Most High has to destroy what the heathen have built. That's not going to be pleasant. It's going to all come to ruin. Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24. Let's read it one more time before I go. This is what you're going to be expecting. And they have to go through this because they've been lied to. You don't go through it if you come out of it. Right. Behold, it's not the Lord, it's Tatanzani. Make it the earth empty and make it waste and turn it upside down and scatter the broad the inhabitants thereof. So if he's going to turn the earth upside down and scatter the inhabitants, what is that going to look like? Like the movie, uh, what do you call it, 2012. Like the movie, um, uh, what's the other one? Red Dawn. I, you know, all these, you know, um, the movie uh, Independence Day. Like the like the uh, after tomorrow, day after tomorrow. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be bad. And he's saying it's going to be as shall be as the people. So with the priest, the false priest, of course. So with the servant, those who work. So with the master, those who run the show. So with the maid, those who make things up. Okay. All these things. And they'll be empty and spoiled. Spoiled means destroyed. Spoiled means not the, you know, when you take the spoils of war. You, you're going to be, it's going to be, you know, stolen, taken. Okay. 
everybody. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The hottie of the earth do languish. The hottie means those standing up there saying, we the best. We number one. We proud. We we Nobody can do nothing to us. Okay? That's what he's talking about. We the, we the best. We, 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 the, we, the, we on top. We running the show. We, we're the best. They're going to get, boom, smack in the head. To say, now reality check. No, you're not. You thought you were, but you're not. All right. Zola Quingi, the Sambulolo, in a wizard, Yabe Kongu Kutwala. And like I said, Yisu Molongi means when he said, I am your teacher. Kuso Kongu is your teacher because he teaches the way of the Most High. The other one they gave you is not in the way of the Most High, but you meant to believe it. The way of the Most High is the Banabetu way, the Bantu way that we were taught, the away, the Abantu Benduela, that way, the non-pagan way. Okay? So you must remember that. All right? Our way was always the right way. We just turned our backs on Tatanzambe, Yave Congo. And went the way of the heathen again. And they don't know that they have been deceived by their people. That's why they sit there crying for the queen and the queen is wicked. Crying for the, you know, these standing in front of these presidents and stuff, leading them astray. And got you standing there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And these people can't do nothing for you. They can't get you into the kingdom not one bit. No. They're standing with the Pope. Oh, Pope. Man. Pope can't get you into the kingdom. That's a lie. The Most High don't know that, man. Tatanzambian Pongo Tulendo, Yahweh Congo, the Most High Powerful God, does not know that man sitting over there. That's why now Italy is having the problems they're having. That's why Europe is under so much destruction now. Oh, wait. no, no heat, no cold. It's coming. All right. You know, where's the Yahweh Kongu Kutwala? Ingeta. Hallelujah.